How are you? When was the last time you masturbated? I'm sorry, was that too forward? Okay. Well, let me rewind. Would you rather I ignore what causes you to replay what you thought you had stopped, but just pause, let's see, so if sin is recorded in your heart, how can you not go back to something that you miss? TiVo, see, I was never any good at math. But 11 years old plus church bathroom should have never equaled stimulating myself for the first time. And that first time turned into any time I had a free hand. This five finger discount had me jacking myself of my integrity, but my heart was still. So I still, still, I'm guessing this felony armed robbery never convicted me. I was made in the image of God but often play the role of a foolish squirrel the way I would abandon the acorn tree of life and without intervention would have chased a single nut down to hell but I thought, I thought marriage would cure me but instead it caused clarity to hatch from my eyelids just so I know how sore of a sight I was to see now it makes sense why jewelers specialize in boxing rings yet them things are made circular I know why now once you get in that ring you will go rounds fighting Impatience, loneliness, and lack of self-control. Satan will always try to make you skip Thanksgiving dinner for a 50-cent bag of hot Cheetos. Yeah, I could call out the ladies, but their ringtones are usually on denial. But shh, maybe y'all can hear me better once you put your vibrators on silent. If you're single, your body is for God. If you're married, it's for your husband to share, but temples can easily turn playgrounds when toys interfere. Your discipline can erode if you keep unwrapping your gift improperly. Even your hands can become trespassers until what used to be private areas becomes public property. No wonder, no wonder your punctuation discernment is off. Sideways smiles got you open like one parenthesis, so much so that you forget to pause like a comma when he tries to make it a point to get under your curves without popping the question first but hey what's the big deal what's the big deal everybody does it anyway right like like 50 percent of christian men admit to have indulged recently one out of five women admit to doing it weekly and these are just those who have the guts to admit it but the reality is the numbers are probably higher and will only increase so on which side of these stats will you choose to be but let's get biblical no one can really find a place in the scriptures that speaks directly against it. But I don't recall parents carrying signs that say, don't kidnap my children. You simply know this because you understand the love of a parent. What more the love of a jealous God? I'm not lying. See, see masturbation is one of the few acts you can break all of the Ten Commandments at one time. Check it. One. Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. When your need to please you supersedes your need to please him, you have voted yourself an idol without Ryan or Simon too. Thou shalt not worship created images. But let's be honest. You get creative when you get into it. For instance, the figures you paint in the top of your dome like the Sistine Chapel. You become a modern Michelangelo, forcing your body to praise the gallery of your imaginations until every sensation sings how great thou art. Three, thou shalt not misuse the Lord's name. Well, you call yourself Christian, yet consistently practice this sin, so what more can I say for? Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Well, that's broken because instead of taking time off of your work in sin to rest in him, you keep clocking in and restlessly work to acknowledge you, seeking paydays in the format of an orgasm. Five, honor thy mother and thy father. You've dishonored them because you've negated the design of the function that birthed you, yet you caught with the idea and engaged in the act. So when you marry the sin, why do you want to divorce the consequences? Six, thou shalt not murder. Every time you fall into this trap and constantly attempt to come back, you accept you. But in the process, you have trampled God's grace, spit in his face, and yes, crucified his son again and again. Seven, thou shalt not commit adultery. 
Your body is God's and not yours. Now, what do you think you do when you're having sex with someone that does not belong to you? You ate. Thou shalt not steal. Every time you try to satisfy yourself, you're robbing God of an opportunity to satisfy you the right way. Completely nine. Thou shalt not lie. Well, you are. You're lying to your body by your actions, telling it that you have power in your hand to make you happy and that somewhere along the line, God made a mistake. Now, is it just me or does that sort of sound similar to the statements of a snake? 10. Thou shalt not be covetous. Well, like I said before, your body is not yours. But we will always see error until you recognize their goodies but not your goodies. And having sex with yourself is beyond covetous or dishonorable. It's called same-sex relations which according to scriptures is abominable now. Masturbation is not just a sin. It reflects the core of all sin. But we never think about the seed when we see the fruit. Like we always see the iniquity but ignore the root, the evil stems from our hearts. It's who we are. Our nature lusts to please ourselves even at the expense of our own souls. So no matter what time of the year it gets cold, winter, sin, spring, summer, fall for seasons after just a one night Stand as if your legs were holding your last chance up in a glass cup. I know this struggle is a beast, but he sees your storm. So when he mutates your relationship, you can't go back to your ex. Man, it's not just about avoiding sin. It's about setting your affections on him. Refocusing your desires on the source of fulfillment. For the pleasure he provides is not easy to come by. Like a marathon in humidity, it will never run dry. Let your heart be his slave and his presence be your pharaoh. So even if your flesh decides to rise like Moses, I promise he will never let his people go. And although there are many that be filling for that filling in the end, your filling will never fill in for fulfillment when it ends. See, our souls, our souls weren't designed with this God-shaped hole. Just so we know how empty feels. No, our souls were designed for God to make whole. Just so we know. How empty is filled. Yeah.